Hey players, yesterday was an incredibly scary day for me because I almost lost my mom. I want to tell you guys what happened and what I learned from this experience, so hopefully if you ever encounter something like this, you know what to do. Telling this story is not easy for me, and I know there are a lot of you out there who have had a situation just like this, so let me tell you what happened. I started a new job not too long ago where I'm able to work from home. So it was a normal Thursday, I'm sitting at home working on my laptop. Normally I have my phone by my side, but when the battery starts to die I tend to plug it into the wall and kind of leave it over there so it can charge for a bit. And since I'm always by my phone, I never really turn on the ringer, so I just kind of periodically check it every so often. At around 12.30 I saw that I had gotten a voicemail and a text message from my younger brother, not really thinking it was anything specific. But when I listened to the voicemail, the first thing he said completely shocked me. He told me that my mom had a heart attack and he had called 911 to come to the house. I did not know what to do. I was frantic in that moment, but I knew I had to keep myself together so that I can head to my house and see what was going on. I locked up the house, got in my car, and started driving over to my mom's house to go see what was going on. And I have to admit, I was contemplating every single red light to just breeze right through it. But I knew in that moment, even though I wanted to breeze through the red lights because there was no time to waste, I had to stick to the rules here because I didn't want to get into a car accident. When I finally got to my mom's house, I saw the ambulance waiting outside, so I parked my car and ran as fast as I could inside the house. There was no one downstairs at the time, so I ran back outside to go check inside the ambulance and there was no one there either. So I figured everyone was upstairs in my mom's room, so I ran up the stairs and ran into the room to see my mom there on the bed holding her chest while the EMTs were trying to help her. My younger brother was there too, and I had a million questions to ask him, but I knew that wasn't the right time. We had to focus on what was going on, which was helping my mom. The EMTs asked us to bring down their bags for them, but the entire time all I wanted to do was ask my mom how she was doing, to let her know that I was there, to make sure she was okay. And in that process, one of the EMTs was starting to get a little frustrated because even though I wanted to be helpful, I was hindering their process of getting her down the stairs and bring her into the ambulance. I had already told my girlfriend, my brother, and his girlfriend, and his girlfriend ended up showing to the house along with me. So the two of us got inside her car and drove to the hospital while my younger brother went with my mom in the ambulance. Once again, as we were driving in her car, I wanted so bad just to cut people off, to skip red lights, to go on the opposite side of the road, but I knew I couldn't do that because the potential for an accident was far greater if I was driving recklessly. When we got to the hospital, they had taken my mom in and my older brother had showed up too. So all of us had went together to go sit in the waiting room upstairs. Sitting in that waiting room was a very surreal experience for me. Here you had all these people terrified and not sure what was going to happen. Meanwhile, on the television, Anderson Cooper is sitting there talking about what he eats for breakfast. The whole juxtaposition of these sad and worried people alongside this nonsense playing on television made me think two things. One, why is this junk playing when all of us are just trying to focus on what's going on? And two... Maybe this junk is necessary to keep us distracted. Either way, as some time passed, my aunt ended up showing up as well and we all sat together waiting in the waiting room. Eventually, the doctor came in and the very first thing he said put us all at ease. We were all waiting to know what happened and he told us very plainly, Hey guys, nothing to worry about. Everything worked out fine, which really was what we needed to hear. He sat down with us and explained a little bit about the process of what happened. Essentially, the heart has three valves two on the left side and one on the right side. There's a lot of different factors that can play into clogging these valves in the heart, but stress is usually the tipping point that causes it to rupture. For my mom, she's been a smoker most of her life. When she does eat, it's either junk food or processed food, and she deals with stress every single day. However, she is a fighter, and she fought through this and was able to survive. After a while, they brought us all in to see her, and I had talked to everyone beforehand to make sure that we didn't launch into telling her what she needed to change in her life. It's very natural when you truly care about someone to want to start telling them, well, you shouldn't do this, and you got to cut that, and you got to get rid of that but the truth of the matter is they just underwent a major traumatic experience and telling them to do things is not the best thing to do. So we talked with my mom, we told her we loved her, we told her we would come back every single day to see her and then we let her get her rest. This whole experience was a crazy one, but to walk into my mom's room to see her clutching her chest in pain is a snapshot that's gonna be forever embedded in my mind. 
And I know there are a lot of you out there that have gone through similar experiences like this or know someone who has. That's why I want you guys to leave your comments below. Share any similar experiences you've gone through in the comments and we'll all be there to talk to you. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday sharing tips, ideas, and advice teaching you how to be your best self. Also, if you feel like your story was just too personal and you don't want to leave it in the comment section, you can always reach out to me. All my social information is in the description. My Snapchat, my Facebook, my Instagram, my email. Reach out to me. This whole ordeal was a scary, scary experience, but it is something I feel like I learned from. And hopefully my mom learned from it too. To change her behavior, to shape up her life, and to work towards being healthy again. As always, guys, love and peace.